Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, we're going to be going out in search of fake snow. After we find that fake snow, we'll be making DIY cloud slime. So we have a lot of things to do, let's get started. In Arabic, Mall Al Arab. In English, Mall of Arabia. In case you missed it, it's Mall of Arabia. So here we are in Kitzania in Jeddah. This is Mall of Arabia, gate number six, second floor. There's a huge airplane inside the mall. You can't miss it. It's really hard to miss. Now this is the souvenir merchandise shop of Kitzania. And here you can actually find all the merchandising. Take a piece of Kitzania home with you. Now they do have a lot of items from clothing, role play uniforms, stationery bags, toys, games. And they also have a lot of items which cannot be easily found in other toy shops. For example, the magic snow. You can see the magic snow right in front of you as soon as you enter the store. That's where I found it. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this fake magic instant snow. Now there's a plane going on the side of the store because it has that look of the airport shop, the duty-free shop or store. Now the instant snow is really expensive but it turned out great as you will see later on. But first, let's go for coffee. I had coffee from Camp's Backstuba, which is Camp's Bakery, the German bakery. The coffee was really delicious, but it was too much. And the little biscuit was so tasty. This is an old video. I don't know if it's there anymore. Now that we have our instant snow, let's go home and make DIY cloud slime. Use any good quality PVA glue. I'm going to add baby powder, lotion, foaming soap, Foaming face wash in non-foaming face wash. Make sure you mix very well. Add in as much air as you can. Please use shaving foam. Please use a shaving foam because the foam, when, when it comes in contact with the air, it expands. So this actually will give you so much volume to your fluffy slime. Add the borax solution gradually till this mixture comes away from the bowl. That's how you know that your slime is done. Knead the mixture. You really, really have to be careful about the amount of borax solution you add. You have to really do it gradually because if you do it all at once, you're going to get that stringy, rubbery slime. And that's a no-no. And the slime part is done. Now on to the next part. Elongating the slime and then placing it in such a way that air kind of traps in between the layers it makes the slime look very fluffy. For 40 reals, oh, it's so expensive. So they have these color tablets. I'm not gonna be using those. I'm just gonna empty all of this out. Just add water. That is so cool. Now the two separate elements that we prepared earlier have to be combined together. So all you have to do is just take your fluffy slime and add it to the instant snow. Now this part will be a little messy because of all the loose snow, but don't worry, you just have to gently knead it and make sure you're incorporating everything together. This is DIY Cloud Slime, I want to keep it white. The possibilities for slime are endless and making snow slime is such a fun activity. 
it is not just a winter activity it is also amazing to make this snow slime in the spring and summer this diy is fun all year round and great for sensory play cloud slime is a unique type of slime with a fluffy texture similar to that of kinetic sand the key ingredient is the instant snow it will not be difficult to find this cloud slime is so squeezable squishable and stretchable its soft and light texture will give you a delightful sensory experience. It's like holding a cloud right in your hands. If you choose to add colors, please make sure you're using powdered forms. If you use a gel and liquid forms, it can mess up with the cloud slime. The irresistibly bright color is as fun to look at as it is to touch. Want to customize your cloud slime? There are plenty of ways to do just that. You can either add some food colorings, different than yellow, into the mixture or add something else like glitter. You might also want to experiment and make themed DIY slime. The choice is yours. Now if the mixture seems sticky at the beginning, let it sit out for a few hours until it is a little less sticky and is the texture you want. Once the texture and stickiness is right, make sure you keep the slime in an airtight container so it doesn't dry out and you can instantly have it ready for the next time. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, a love is bye. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.